Daddy Magic Matt Menard. Hey, I'm uh, Anthony Birch. I'm host of a podcast called Dungeons and Daddies. Now, usually I don't interact with people who have 15,000 fewer followers on Twitter than me, but this time I thought I'd make an exception. Several years ago, our podcast came up with the phrase Daddy Magic. And then a little while later, you started calling yourself Daddy Magic and you trademarked the name. And that didn't really bother me. In fact, we actually wanted to have you on the show. And on Twitter, you said you would if we bought six of your hideous t-shirts from shop.aew.com. And we did. And then you didn't show up on the show. But that's okay. It didn't bother me either because we had six new rags for cleaning up blood and pee and cum. Sort of the only thing your face is really good for. Now, what does bother me is that you took a picture of one of our fans holding this sign and you commented, tell me a virgin without telling me you're a virgin. And to that, I take offense because if there's one thing I know about our fans, it's that they fuck. Now, they may not fuck as often as they want to, and it may be a lot weirder than the fucking that you're used to. But hey, take me for example. How many people do you think I've had sex with? I've had sex with over two huh, women. But they're not the only people I've screwed. See, if you want to keep talking crap about the Dungeons and Daddies fandom, I just want to ask you a question. So this is me at Full Gear 2021. I'm holding this sign during the fight between Cody and Andrade El Idolo. And Cody saw it. He came over, he sold near the barricade holding onto it, and I saw in his eyes. I saw that he had seen the sign, I saw that it affected him, I saw that it had hurt him. And my question, I guess, is, where's Cody now? Now, I may not be able to lift more than a few pounds, and I may have the body control of a flamingo with one leg, but take it from one daddy with a weird fucking shaped head to another. I'm pretty good at hurting people's feelings. So unless you want to get these hands on Twitter, why don't you stick to doing what you do best? Chew your gum, fail to pronounce the T in sports entertainment, and uh, leave the real daddy magic to the real daddies.